Hello, how are you doing? I have, look like I have really big hair today. It's, it's mostly the scarf. We're actually having an argument right now. My hair looked great when I got up and then I just tried doing it a little bit and it then decided it wasn't gonna play my game. So, sad times. Anyway, today is Wednesday. It is a really nice day today. It's the first time in a while that the sun has like tried to make an appearance. Like I've just had to actually shut my blinds a little bit, which is not normal. The sun literally actually shone through the windows. For those of you that aren't from the UK, this is a very rare occurrence this time of the year. So naturally I spent like 10 minutes taking selfies of none of which I'm gonna post. But yeah, today is trying. Today is trying to be a good day but we have some obstacles guys but that is the theme of today we are trying i've got up i went to the post office i've listened to a podcast i've done my work I've, I've i've been doing the things i am trying i found out this morning that basically my whole family has covid so i'm just praying that i haven't been in close enough proximity to them in like the past couple of weeks to pick anything i've like barely seen like literally seen one person so fingers crossed old omnicromny is not coming for me i seem to have magical immunity to it, which doesn't really help my, I am the main character of everything psychology that I've got going on in my head because I have this magical immunity where I literally have lived in the same house as Ryan and he's had it and I've been absolutely fine. So maybe I am, maybe I'm magically immune. I'm just gonna pretend that aside because it's boring and no one needs to hear about it and we're all sick of it. I'm so sick of it. Today, I am just at home. I've got a few more work bits to do this afternoon. But actually a lot of it I had to do yesterday. So we're, we're pretty chill today. I had a really hectic day yesterday and today actually much nicer because of that. So one thing that I have on my to-do list is actually to do a bit of a wardrobe cleanse. So I'm excited to get started. I've just had some bits arrive in the post as well, which I'm really looking forward to opening, so we can do that together. Anyway, I'll show you my outfit today. You've probably seen it already in my What I Wore in a Week video, but I'll run you through this one really, really quick. So I still got the scarf on from the kind of like, I was demonstrating how this outfit looked with the scarf on and I just kept it on because it's actually really, really cozy. But my scarf is like super old from ASOS. The cardigan is a new addition to my wardrobe from ASOS, which I, will I regret this purchase? Are you guys just gonna tell me it's disgusting, maybe, but I really liked it. I just like a black and white outfit at the moment and this is almost black and white, it's like black and off-white. I've then got a body on underneath, cause layers. And then my H&M leggings, my Uggies. Yeah, that is it, my hair is looking so shiny today. So shiny. Like look, blonde, my blonde hair does not normally have like a shine because my hair just isn't that way inclined, it's never really been shiny. Look at it. I am actually so impressed with that. I had my colour redone the other day, which always like helps. However, this isn't like fresh from the hairdresser's hair. I actually washed it for the first time yesterday and I used some new products from Kerastase. And you will know, I love the brand. I work with the brand, but I exclusively just use Kerastase products because they're so good. And they sent me this new range and there's a gloss product and it has made my hair so shiny and it's really not normally this shiny so i'll show you what that is it's very good <laughs> oh it's in my shower this this is the product what is it called it's called the oh god they always put it in french find the english find the english do not butcher the french language resurfacing high shine rinse treatment such a cute bottle all of their products from that range are like nude toned it's like it was made for me I'll leave a link to the products in the info box. The whole range is really good. And it's basically based around repairing, like deeply repairing damaged hair that's been like colored and helping with like the porosity of it. Cause if you have like, what is it? High porosity hair, it means that like your color fades. I believe it means your color fades a lot quicker. There's lots of things that are bad about high porosity hair, but that is, that is one of them. And that is one of the reasons I was really excited to use the range because my color and tone is fade very quickly so yeah i'm hoping it helps but yeah so far so good it's looking really good anyway i'm going to stop looking at myself because people tell me off but before we get started with the decluttering i really need to sort out my kitchen if you thought that my house just always looks really lovely and tidy um you'd be wrong we've got washing we've got post we've got tests <laughs> normally i wouldn't tell you about this at all because i just think it's really boring but i'm actually really scared that i might get covid halfway through this vlog and ruin the vlog also got some lovely red roses from yesterday's video well yesterday's reel that i was filming that need to be like trimmed down their stems are really really long aren't they so pretty i love roses especially red ones but anyway make some food tidy kitchen 
get on with decluttering i'm so excited to just have a little purge of my wardrobe not a big one it's not a big like spring one but just a little go through pick things out that definitely haven't been worn if i'm very lucky i might manage to persuade brian tonight to fix the drawer because it's fallen down again we're not very good at building furniture in this house i cannot wait until i get to the point where i can just have a professional build me a walk-in wardrobe that is like sturdy and that can withhold my clothes and also the fact that i get in there and like shove everything around and yeah sort my washing out put another wash on i'm gonna have like a really nice organize -y, productive -y afternoon and i know you guys have been loving that vibe because that was my first vlog back after christmas and you gave it so much love so thank you so much first food because i can't do anything if i'm hungry and then we we'll get started and then I'm, I'm gonna unbox this as well. Looks disgusting, but it's gonna taste delish. It's basically cake. And then we add some nuts, a little bit of coconut, and then we're gonna go for some raspberries. This is really hard to do whilst you're um, talking to a camera. And then I'm gonna go for a little bit of peanut butter in that corner. This is too much, probably. Oh well. There we go. It is delish. sorted the flowers out i still need to sort the washing out you know when you just leave that for just a little bit longer than you probably should but i need to crack on because i got a little bit distracted whilst i was having my oats i was listening to the stephen bartlett podcast which is episode 116 with fern cotton and honestly it's like she is inside my brain really weird like when you occasionally find someone on the internet and you just feel like they have a lot of the same stuff going on in their head as you if you like this podcast think of me when you listen to that episode and if you've ever wondered what the inside of my brain is like that is it that is it and it's funny she talked about this thing they she touched on she's talking about egos they're both discussing it like at length and one of the things that they touched on was she said that like there's this voice inside her head which is her ego and it tells her that she doesn't deserve things she shouldn't try at things because she's not good at things it was like the not deserving things that really like and i don't even mean like nice things just like things like the basic levels of care and it really like kind of hit me because over Christmas there was one comment that I had on my channel just before Christmas and it wasn't like a super like picky one but I had obviously talked about how I never used to go to like the doctors or the dentist or do anything related to my own personal care and this person it didn't quite like match up because we don't pay for healthcare over here so it's not a cost thing but they were like you can spend this much on handbags but you can't go to the doctors and to me that that doesn't make sense in terms of finance because going to the doctors is free which actually makes it worse because it's not like that there is no barrier over here to going to the doctors dentist a little bit more because you do pay for that here but i think i said something back probably about healthcare not being free but it sat with me over christmas and i was like well that's the reason it obviously isn't finance i was struggling at first to articulate why and in the end i was like i think it's like a self-love thing like you genuinely like i was working myself so hard in my 20s and I know there'll be people in the comments that are just going to argue this because it just doesn't... I make it look like I don't work. Like, I'm standing in my kitchen right now, I get it. But I worked myself so hard. I never gave myself time off. I didn't see my friends, my family for, like, a good few solid years because I prioritised work above all else. And I didn't... Basically, without realising it, the this voice in my head was telling me that I didn't deserve to have days off. Friends, family relationships, none of that. Like, I didn't go to the doctors or the dentist because... In my head, there's this voice and it still sits there and it's almost like you don't you don't deserve to be taken care of. Like that's how little this is something I've realized over the past. I would say the past four months is how little actual self-love I have for myself in terms of like if 
Brian needed to go to the doctors, I would make sure he got to the doctors if he needed it. Even if he didn't, I would nag him until I'd probably go as far if he was really pissing me off to book that appointment for him because I love him. But I wouldn't do that for myself. And yeah, I've, it finally clicked with me that I have a real issue with how I treat myself and how much I love myself. And it's something that I've kind of been working on this January, but like, it's just been a bit of a struggle because I don't really know exactly how you fix that. But yeah, I got there in the end with like my thought process of it. And it's so interesting to hear someone else basically say the exact same thing of like, you, there's this voice inside your head that tells you you don't deserve like these basic levels of self-care and I just, I don't know, I just love the episode because I love the Stephen Bartlett podcast. They are normally way more centered around like, well, not all of them, but lots of the ones that I listen to are way more centered around like people that are like billionaires in their twenties and can't relate. <laughs> but this one out of all of them, I probably found the most relatable because it's someone basically being like, there are all these voices inside my head and they tell me that I'm not good at things and I shouldn't try at things and I don't deserve to have basic things in life. So yeah, I thought it was really interesting. It's probably something that maybe a lot of people can, how the hell do you open this? <laughs> it's probably something a lot of people can relate to or maybe might benefit from listening to. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that because I kind of said, I didn't really think like it's such a normal thought process and behavior for me to not physically care for myself. And I so comfortably admitted that on camera just before Christmas and I didn't really think about how and i'm not i'm not sorry i said it because it is like it's just what goes on in my head but i didn't really think about how weird people would find that concept because there are people out there that actually have a certain level of self-love for themselves and take care of themselves but yeah segueing from the fact that i'm incapable of looking after myself to sweatpants i was really excited because the set that i have been after since like november from adenola finally came back into stock so these are really nice light gray trackies i've got this in an extra small because they are quite oversized i've also got the matching hoodie which i just love it's just like a really nice light gray like the black lettering which i think is really cool i'm so excited to get my hands on this i don't know if it will be in stock by the time this video goes live because this is quite like so after it basically went out of stock as soon as they released it. And I also got the little brown cat, which everyone voted that I should get. <laughs> I don't know if these are actually cute on me, but a lot of you guys rated it. So it'd just be cute for my morning walks. <laughs> so yeah, that is my Adenola order. And then my other order that I have is actually underneath you guys right now, so I'm gonna need to move you. How do I open you? So these are two rings that I ordered from a jewelry. Just nice plain bands, but that work really nicely for stacking. I will show you guys the vision. Yeah, they're really cute and they're solid gold as well. I've been trying to invest more into like solid gold pieces because my hands just get wet so often that they don't last very long. So it's nice to have like my everyday rings that I wear like back to back to back in like a solid gold and then I can like spice things up with jewelry like this from Monica Vinader. Which the Monica Vinader stuff to be fair lasts so well. I actually got oil all over my hands the other day wearing this ring and it's still doing so well. But yeah. These are really cute, like a nice light gold as well. Okay, we are in my bathroom and I thought I'd show you the rings and then I stack them with some of my other rings. This is the thicker band and then this is the thinner band. And then we thought that they would be really cute stacked with this ring that I got from Local Eclectic. So this is it up close. I think it would be really nice with another one underneath as well. And then this is the other ring stacked with one of my other local eclectic rings but i could also wear this smaller ring with the eternity band on my other hand like this it's so cute i got the inspo for this kind of stack from where i was wearing my monica vinader ring that basically has lots of little stones across the middle and then i was wearing another monica vinader silver ring underneath and they stacked quite nicely together so i thought i'd invest in a set that will just last forever basically
Okay, we are in the wardrobe. It might get dark in here very, very soon, so we might have to put some lights on, but we're just gonna see how we go. So this is section one of my wardrobe. For those of you that don't know, that aren't familiar, my wardrobe runs along this wall. Here it's like just one of those simple flat pack wardrobe kind of vibes. It's housing a lot of things. So what I like to do is just go through and check and see if there's anything that I maybe want to put on Depop, whether I'm wearing it or not, or maybe I want to put it upstairs in my like loft. I have a lot of like vacuum storage bags. So if there's just like anything that's not, not being worn right now that just shouldn't be here because it's not seasonal, that kind of thing. So this side of my wardrobe, this is all like trousers, tops, like nicer tops that I don't like roll in my bedroom. All the basics are in my bedroom just because it's so much easier if I'm getting dressed. I have trackies and bodies and like normal tops, socks and underwear in the bedroom and it's like easy if I'm just like getting up and putting on something plain if I don't need to like properly get dressed but if I properly need to get dressed I come in here. So up top is like tailored trousers, shorts, skirts, tailored tops, dresses that are shorter, dresses that are longer I have a real issue with. And then as we go down you'll see I've got hats and scarves at the moment Then we've got bags and then we have another drawer which is like currently falling down and then underneath the drawer that is falling down is my knitwear so it sits on the bottom which is such a good system because knitwear is heavy, doesn't hang well so I just have it all with some jeans as well down the bottom. But yeah I'm just going to go through and just double check everything make sure I'm happy, make sure there's nothing that really shouldn't be here. Like this sequin skirt can probably go upstairs now. Had it in there after Christmas up until New Year because I was like, you know what, you just never know. This skirt's dressy, but that's fine. It's like gonna see me through all seasons. This skirt, I am just not getting the wear out of. I know it's peak winter right now, but I really didn't get the most wear out of it in autumn. And that's when I would normally get my wear out of this. Now, this pair of shorts I bought and I actually then found another pair of shorts up in the loft, which were from Topshop and they're like tie waist and way more flattering than this pair. And a little bit shorter as well, so they fit my leg a bit better. So I'm gonna put that on Depop. These two I haven't worn enough, but this pair of shorts, and I think would look really cute with like a white shirt or just like a plain white top like a white body like this that could be really cute and this i also haven't been getting the wear of but i don't know this could be really cute in the spring with converse so i'm not gonna give up on these two just yet this i actually haven't worn in a long time it was too big for me for a very long time again gonna leave my midi skirts until spring because march is usually the time when i go through my knitted skirt phase so we'll see and we've got one of my favourite pairs of trousers, you are staying. I have got three pairs of the same Zara trousers in different leg cuts because I love, oh, and different, two different sizes as well. Basically, I wear an extra small in these trousers, which I love, lots of you will recognise them. I wear an extra small, but whilst they were in stock, I just got a bit scared that one day maybe I wouldn't be an extra small anymore, so I picked up a small as well because they just fit so amazingly well. I've got this pair of trousers. These are much thicker. So originally I thought I'd get a lot of wear out of these in the winter because they're a much thicker trouser than a lot of my trousers. I think I'm going to put them on my Depop because I literally haven't reached for them and they will be way too heavy to wear in the summer. I've got these knitted tops which I haven't been wearing so much recently but I really love them so I'm gonna give them more time. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of them in the spring to be honest and if it's like a very cold summer's day they're really great with a pair of jeans. This shirt, cami dresses, white dress, like these are just emergency going out dresses. Oh I can't wait to wear this one. I stupidly bought this like just before it got to winter but it's one of Lorna's in the style dresses but it's got like a it's like a wrap and it's three quarter length sleeve it will just look so cute in the summer with like a pair of trainers i'm so excited to wear it this cold weather needs to go right now that i actually didn't wear that much last year i'm gonna see if i get anywhere out of this this spring and summer and then that's going i think this needs to go to a better home i haven't worn it at all and if i'd have worn it anytime i think it would have been autumn winter that dress i love that's a good emergency like occasion dress my Audrey Layton dress, love, keeper, this Zara dress, oh my god, love. I wore this on New Year. I got this last autumn, lots of you will remember it, and it's just unreal. Love it. And then we have the pink birthday dress, which I just like to look at, so it's now always in my wardrobe. A little bit more room in there, that's good. It's not, there's not too much. So my knitwear is currently being crushed by the falling drawer, 
so I don't really want to disturb the drawer too much more. I don't want to have a fight with it. I'm not strong enough for that. So I'm going to leave knitwear. That knitwear will be up with everything else on my Depop. Once it goes live, I'll do the clear out separately. So this is my shoe cupboard. I've actually already done shoes. I will talk you through the shoes that I'm letting go of. But this is actually very satisfying now. So we have my really cute fancy heels. We have my sock boots, which I love. More sock boots. And then down here we have my Fendi boots. And then All Saints, so my Chanel boots down the bottom, and then some high street heels up the top. Now, in terms of the shoes that I am parting ways with, number one, we have this pair. These are gorgeous, but they just hit my leg at the wrong point. Really, I am not tall enough for these. They hit right in like the cut of my knee, like where my knee bends. And they're just not meant to, to sit at that height. They're beautiful, but they're just not made for someone with my leg length or lack of. So I'm gonna put those on my Depop, but they're gorgeous and so comfy. Like the heel is just like a nice, small block heel really really gorgeous and we have these boots purely because i just have not got the wear out of them so they are basically new if anyone wants them head over to my depot they're gorgeous but i'm just not getting the wear and i'm not standing for keeping things that i'm not getting the wear out of anymore i feel like i'm getting to the point where i really know what i'm like now i'm, I'm getting fussier and fussier and i want to try and keep my wardrobe a little bit more considered and just be full of everything that i wear on repeat and these are just not being worn on repeat so i'm gonna let these go so we've got these which i just absolutely loved i love them i'm trying not to look at them too much because i'm a bit scared that i'll change my mind yeah i think these are gonna have to go on my depot because i just haven't worn them in the longest time i know i haven't been to like work occasions in the longest time but i feel like i really changed the way like i know much better now post panoramic how i want to work and i just don't think i need all of this very like businessy attire now these shoes are gorgeous though i love them i love these i have these for content that i shot and they were just so perfect for the shoot but i actually have not worn them since so i'm gonna pop those in my depot then these little jimmy Choo esque heels i'm gonna pop on there as well so i definitely haven't been getting the wear out of them with the dresses that i like to wear this style of shoe doesn't work so much then we have some and other stories sandals which have this like nice little block heel very cute i have them in like a darker tan as well like this they're really cute i just wasn't getting the wear out of them and then these and other stories sandals which are very the row esque obviously unseasonal but if you're going on holiday soon that might be useful. Then we have what is essentially like my coats and crochigan cardigan section of my wardrobe. And then I've got like a few like nicer sweats and stuff in the drawers down the bottom. First up, I think this coat is finally going to go. I've made some decisions on it. I was umming and ahhing over this one, I think in my last winter clear out or maybe my autumn clear out. Yeah, I literally haven't reached for this one. It's like a cropped sofa jacket. It's really beautiful. It's from ASOS. It's been looked after pretty well. But yeah, it is so gorgeous, but I just haven't reached for it at all. So I think that one is definitely going on Depop. And I think it might be time for me to part ways with this one as well. I'm going to style it up once more when I take the photos and just see if I change my mind because it is this really cool, like long, fork maxi coat it's so big so long it's really really cute but i just haven't been reaching for it i definitely prefer coats that have more of a like tie waist that's definitely something i realize about myself the ones that i reach for year in year out like my white zara coat my black all saints coat they all have like a tie waist and i'm obsessed with them now this one i haven't worn in so long it's just a little zara jacket and it's reversible so you have like a waterproof bit on the outside and then a like teddy fur bit on the outside very similar to my white aloe yoga one which i love so much and i wear it all the time and that might be it might be because i have two of them now and i obviously prefer a cream color that i'm not wearing this in, as much anymore but also this was a big one for me last spring when we just didn't have the gym we were in lockdown and all we could do was <laughs> walk but yeah now that the gyms have opened back up i have just been on poor weather days i've been walking in the gym so i'm not so much in need of a jacket like this anymore i'm gonna pass on it this one is from new look it's just a really cute little puffer jacket i got a good amount of wear out of it in autumn and i feel like i'm happy with it i'm really happy with it i like the color oh what is in the pocket <gasps> a scrunchie yes yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with it for spring it's light it doesn't actually take up that much room in my wardrobe which is amazing it's not like one of those huge huge puffer jackets we then have this festival-esque rain jacket from H&M. I just haven't been wearing it. I'm not a rain jacket girl. I'm not an... Ooh, what is in the pocket? Hmm. 
key ring chain. Interesting. I'm not an outdoors girl. I'm going to put it out there. I'm not an outdoors girl. COVID forced me to be outside, but... And I love, I love a walk, but I'm a fair weather girl. So I don't need, I don't know. I have my Topshop Aviator, which I found in the loft and I've just been absolutely loving wearing it. Super happy with that. And then have this jacket. This I'm really struggling with. It doesn't really suit me. I've tried, I have tried. This one from Zara, I love. I've had this since 2017. Absolutely love it. It fits me really well at the moment. And then have this tan suit. It's like a skirt and a blazer. Some of you will see me wear this before. I like to wear it with a belt. I'm gonna give this spring to see if I get anywhere out of it. Oh my god, I loved wearing this in the summer. This really shouldn't be in my wardrobe right now. But this cold is really cute and I kept it again in case there's like any last minute warm weather trips. This, I just haven't got the wear out of. Black trench, staple for spring, gonna keep that. Nude trench, staple for spring, gonna keep- Oh, spare hanger! Amazing. Okay, this is great. So much space. It means I can get my actual coats in there as well now. And then I'm just gonna go through and tuck all my sleeves in because otherwise the doors they do not shut it's also a good way to stop your wardrobe looking too chaotic as well my friend Carla is a stylist and she sometimes does this for her clients wardrobes I am also going to do a bag clear out it's getting serious okay number one I think oh, this hurts me this actually hurts me I think I'm going to say goodbye to this one because I really haven't been getting the wear out of any of my Antigonas and I'm not going to get rid of all of them but I think some have got to go. I really like the larger one. I think it's great as like an everyday bag but the smaller ones just not getting the wear out of. I haven't reached for them at all in so long that I'm not sure I wore a Givenchy Antigona last year. I need to empty all my grab out of them. But this is base. This one is basically like pristine. It might as well be out the box that's gonna have to go somewhere whether it goes on vestiaire or depop i'm not sure maybe if you're interested just dm me on instagram once this video is live now do i i'm gonna have to think about you because i really do love this one it's so cute i just feel like i've got to the point where i'm like the style with these bags like is it is it for me so yeah those those may be on depop when this video goes live I'm also going to reduce some of my other designer bags that are on there to take a look because I just need to need to get things rolling. I really want to have this whole space like nice and clear by the summer, so I'm just slowly, slowly sorting things out. I think I'm also potentially going to put this bag on there as well. If any of you want it, I'm gonna put it on there. I'm not even gonna bump the price up if I put it on there like other people, you know, like some people were selling this for like ridiculous amounts of money because it was so hard to get your hands on on H&M. I'm just going to put it on there for like whatever I bought it for or if it's on sale I'll put it on there for sale price. That is a good amount of like rail space in these wardrobes now. I'm very very happy with that. It's so dark you know when you've like sat at your desk until it's fully like it's basically night time oh i need to get in some very comfy clothes right now let me tell you that yeah love these very very happy with them oh my god yeah so comfy the fit is really good i'm really glad i didn't get this small. oh yeah this is so comfy. I'm really happy with it. It's worth the wait. Hello. Hello. Did you enjoy your dinner? the recipe I don't really know what I did mm. 
look at what has arrived to the office today. Oh, it is a good day when you get a Vive delivery. And I've got a jumper. Literally so excited. You know this is gonna be going on the second I get in my comfy clothes later. So we have new shades of the matte, modern matte lipsticks from Vive, and we've got new lip liners as well. I think there is one shade in particular. This one looks like it's right up my street. It's called, I think, Aphrodite. I'm gonna give it a go. Am I gonna be able to do this without a mirror? Is the question. Welcome to my office, by the way, if you've not seen my office before, if you're a new subby around here. This is a space that I do not frequent often because I don't like sitting down. I think this is what I've been waiting for from Beeb and I wasn't expecting it with the current launch. Like, I actually think I could use this all over. It's great. Very similar to Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude, which is another lip liner that I love. It's not looking particularly matte because I had a load of lip balm on from when I went to the gym earlier. That is so nice. There's also, so there's so many lipstick shades, but I think, is it Pinch or no, we're gonna go with Cherub's Kiss. Looks really cute. No, I'm gonna go with Pinch. I'm gonna go with Pinch. I'm gonna stick to my guns. It's meant to be between like a peach and a pink. Oh, cute, yeah. I love. That's such a nice lipstick color. I don't have anything like that. Let's take you into natural light. Oh, okay, my makeup doesn't look terrifying in natural light either. It's such a nice lipstick color. Anyway, this is mostly where I've been chilling this morning. I've also had a meeting, been to the gym. I also have a H&M package to unbox with you, so we're gonna do that now. Okay, so first up, we have got this little like navy cashmere set, which I really liked. And I just love it when you find like a nice piece of cashmere on the high street. I always like get a lot of wear out of those pieces. So it's like a tie waist wrap cardigan. And then it comes with, I think you can buy them a separate, yeah, you can buy them separate. So then it's got some matching joggery type bottoms in the same material. It's got pockets, tie waist. So love that, I'm excited to wear those. I also picked up, and some of you, if you have really good attention to detail, will be like, you already ordered this. Oh, so soft. Oh, another cashmere, oh nice. Maybe the one I ordered before wasn't this same one, because I don't know if it was cashmere. But anyway, I've got this beanie because I ordered a gray beanie previously and I sent it back, so I was like, no, I don't, I don't need another beanie. I don't need another beanie. However, there's just been a few occasions recently where I've been looking to put a hat with an outfit and I was like, mm, be really great if I had a grey one for this. So I picked up this one. It is so soft. I feel like it's softer than the last one. Maybe I'm just really trying to convince myself of that. But yeah, I love a beanie. This one is incredibly soft. It feels like such nice quality. I don't feel like it was that expensive. And then finally, this is how I was sure that the set came separately because I ordered the grey wraparound cardi, which I don't know if it looks as luxurious as the navy because darker colours I find usually do look better in like loungewear particularly. But I did think this grey one was very, very cute as well. So I will show you what those look like on now. Let me know what you think. I also did an ASOS order, which I think is arriving this afternoon. Yes, I am aware of the irony of me doing a little declutter and then having clothes arriving in the same video. Let me, let me live, people. All right, guys, what do we think? I'm not sure in the gray, if I'm honest. I'm hoping for better things for the navy. To be honest, like I said, with the dark colors, I think it will be better, but maybe I'm being too critical, actually. It's kind of, it is kind of cute. What do we think? If you can let me know, that would be fab. It is quite thin. So whilst cashmere does keep you really nice and warm, I don't think you'd be like too overly warm in this. I think this would actually see you through into spring and like the autumn months and stuff like that. It's not like a thick, cashmere if that makes sense like my white company pink set that i have where it's like a hoodie and joggers that keeps me so so warm it's much much thicker than this what do we think do i keep it or do i return it let me know oh yeah this is really really nice the dark color just makes all the difference obviously having bottoms that match makes such a difference as well but i do think having loungewear and darker colors just always looks so much more chic you could just literally dress this up with jewelry and just look so pulled together but be so comfortable at the same time this is gorgeous so so comfortable obviously it's a little bit slouchy on the leg for me I don't mind that. I could probably turn it up a little bit at the bottom as well. Yeah, love the bottoms. They come up quite high on me. I think if you're taller, you're gonna absolutely love these. And if you're shorter, you'll be able to make it work as well. Yeah, really like this set. It's lovely.
Okay, if anyone was wondering if I go a day without having my peanut butter, the dark chocolate almond one from Pippa Nut, the answer is no. This bowl is far too small. I'm gonna make a mess eating this, so I will not be eating this on camera, but I've got the Oatly Greek yogurt at the bottom, a layer of banana, blueberry, raspberry, nuts, coconut, this stuff. I just found, I love having my porridge, but I sometimes find it quite heavy, and today I'm just not up for that, so I wanted something that's quite light, so this is gonna be perfect. I need to get some granola for when I'm doing stuff like this, though, because I think that would be really, really nice and still make it quite filling. I have bread if this isn't enough. Don't worry, guys. But then I also have my daily dose hot shot it's really trying to do all the things to stay healthy at the moment I almost forgot to show you guys this asos order that arrived the other day it's basically a lot of shoes i have been waiting until i had the chance to unbox this with you guys and get your thoughts so i'm not going to keep all three because i feel like that's crazy but i just wanted to see things in real life however i think this this one I'm definitely keeping. But yeah, I really wanted to see, these are two pairs of trainers and I really wanted to see them in the flesh because sometimes things arrive and they just don't look how you hoped that they would. So let's have a look. So these are the Converse. I just thought they look really, really cute just like this, but they need styling. And this is why I was unsure. I also don't know if they just look like rip-off Converse when they don't have the actual like original black and white stripe to them. What do we think? They could have been cute for summer, but they decided to do the Borg lining, which makes them not summery. Obviously style those up when I show you. And then we have these trainers, which I just thought were really sweet. I think these will be a much easier one to style up, if I'm very honest. I'll show you both and you can let me know which ones you like, if any. If you hate them both, tell me you hate them both. These I would easily get so much wear out of as long as they're comfy. But these I feel like need a little bit more attention when styling. And then the things I originally went on to ASOS for. So some people will really hate these. These are the Arc Ultra Millies, but in the black i don't want to get it wrong but i think they're like a leather black leather and they just are much more low maintenance like if i go out in the rain they're all good super comfy because they've got the same lining oh my god and obviously it will look very cute with like an all black outfit as well i just thought this would be such an easy piece to have in my wardrobe and would really get me through the next couple of months because let's face it it's still gonna be bloody cold here see very cute just naturally look very good with leggings i think because they make your ankles look very slender because they're such a chunky little shoe i think with like an oversized white sweatshirt this would be such a cute look so yeah really like those now i'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see this i've actually given up halfway because i don't like these i don't know if you guys will be able to see on camera but the leather part of this converse is actually like yellow toned it's not it's really not cute so these are a no oh my god ignore the fact that my socks are obviously not the right socks for these oh this is the comfiest experience of my life these are i think these are comfier than the brown ones like the faux fur on the inside is like more squishy i didn't think that was possible oh my goodness so cute so comfy <laughs> i'm obsessed with them yeah these are these are great to be honest i probably wear something quite similar tomorrow as well but just keep an eye on my instagram because you'll probably see me style these up a lot but if you want like a reel or anything on styling uggs then let me know i almost forgot but this is the gray beanie i really like this one i really don't think this is the same one as the one i've had before because i remember that most beanies that i've tried on recently they don't have enough like weight on the back it's like weight or thickness this is a combination of factors weight thickness like excess material and they just stick on the top of your head like this it's like my pet fashion peeve try saying that five times yeah i like having them fold over a little bit so that you don't look utterly ridiculous because those hats really really annoy me i don't want to scare it away but guys it's nearly five o'clock and the sun well the sun isn't up but there's still daylight this is such a great point this is one of my like happy days in the year because it's not pitch black at five o'clock anymore we have hit the light at the end of the tunnel this is great i have to say i'm really sad that i have to take this lipstick off now because i love it
dermatologist appointment this morning so I've got basically like brows mascara lip product on and that's it and I feel really out of sorts not having like a full I'm all or nothing so like it's either SPF and nothing else or like a full face of makeup and I feel really weird I've just been finishing up my coffee and I've been listening to the Stephen Bartlett Alan Carr podcast which I had heard was really really good there's clips of it like all over TikTok it pops up on YouTube for me it's like an hour and a half long it's one of the longer ones and I've been really really enjoying it there's so many different things that they cover it's incredible so I've been really enjoying that I'm about to leave a little bit early for my appointment I'm hoping to get like a little walk in before I go to my appointment and then I have a nail appointment after as well which I am looking forward to because I booked it in a little bit earlier than, the, than usual so they're still looking pretty good but it all would be in the next few days they would start to lift and go a bit like me because they are longer and with my longer nails now I've made a rule that I book in my appointment like a week earlier than I need it because for me, they just, they're already starting to like pull away a tiny amount at the base and it will only get worse over the next few days. So my new rule is like just having an earlier appointment if you're gonna have long nails. But yeah, I have a feeling this vlog is very long now, so I'm probably gonna leave it here, but I will do my best. I haven't had a chance to list anything on Depop yet. This week is really running away with me, but they will be up by the time. <laughs> they will be up by the time you guys watch this video, so. Yeah, there will be the whole shebang, bags, shoes, all the things. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed having a little wardrobe organized with me. Let me know what you think on the bits that I ordered from ASOS and H&M. I've got a feeling like the grayish cardi, I'm just really not sure on. Love the navy set, love the hat ops. And then the ugly from mini spoiler I'm wearing today. And then the trainers I'm really not sure on. And actually, do I need another pair of trainers? Because I really love my leopard print Nike ones that's the tick that's what i'm doing now but yeah i hope you guys have all enjoyed this video and you're having a lovely day and i'll see you guys again very very soon for a new video love you bye